안녕하세요. Aloha, my name is Elizabeth Park, and I am currently the Associate Professor of Education at Chaminade University of Honolulu. I'm so delighted to be sharing some information about ideas for families with young children at home during the pandemic. First, we have to understand that the fundamental needs are met in order to be in the optimal condition to learn. We know Maslow's fundamental needs and understand that some of us are trying to deal with the basic physiological and psychological needs. This is okay. We need to do what we need to do to meet those needs because it is difficult to provide the optimal learning condition until we take care of the basics. Second, we need to approach learning with the whole child in mind. That means that we are attending to the development of their mind, body, and spirit. We often equate school or learning with only cognitive growth, such as learning to read, write, and count. However, the children between the ages of three and six years old are in a sensitive period for developing their senses, physical coordination, as well as their spirit. Children learn better if they move about and use all their senses to learn. They need to have hands-on experience to store information in their brain for the long term. In addition, we often forget that all children are born with their own unique spirit, and we must foster that as much as their cognitive and physical developments. The children are in such an impressionistic stage of their development that what they see and do are not just remembered, but they form a part of their soul. Third, we need to know a little bit about the components of the learning condition. This triad is a tr cyclical relationship between the child, the environment, and the adult. The adult observes the child, see what the child is interested in, and what the child is able to do then sets up the environment that draws the child to learn as the child interacts with the environment and the adult. This continuously changes as the child changes and grows. So, how do we do that, you ask? Well, here are six ideas for you. Please note that these recommendations are based on children ages three to six, but can be applied to older children. Fundamental needs. We know that we need to take care of our basic needs. This needs to be addressed for both the child and the adult. Do whatever you need to do to meet these needs. Healthy routines. Consider keeping healthy and consistent routines. Children at this age are in a sensitive period for order, concentration, coordination, and desire to become independent. Thus, keeping a regular routine at home will make them feel secure and safe. Every household has a different biorhythm and every household has different needs, so one routine will not fit everyone. However, some general rules are to involve the children when establishing the routines, follow together as a family, and most importantly, be consistent. For example, if you start the day at 7 a.m. in the morning, try to be close to that time each morning. Wash up and get dressed for the day so they are not in their pajamas throughout the day. Research shows that dressing up for the day psychologically puts the child in a mode more conducive to learning. Try to keep your mealtime and bedtime consistent. In order to provide healthy routines for children, adults have to also model healthy routines. If you want children to keep healthy and consistent routines around the house, adults will also have to keep their routines as consistent as possible. To foster healthy and consistent routines for the children and adults in the family, providing zones or areas for different tasks is a great idea. For example, you might create a snack area that is child-friendly so the child learns to go to that area to eat snacks. 
You can even spend time to decide what kind of snacks you might want to have in that area. You can also provide an area where the child can play with different toys on an organized shelf. The child knows where to take the toy and where to put them back after they use it. So you are not constantly asking the child to clean up after playing. Emotional intelligence. Become emotionally intelligent by recognizing emotions, understanding emotions, labeling emotions, expressing emotions, and regulating emotions. Just like anything else in life, it takes time and effort to learn something, and emotions are no exception. In order to be emotionally intelligent, you have to practice to become good at it. Share with your children that all emotions are okay, but how you react to your emotions, that can be okay or sometimes not okay. We have to learn how to do this. Adults too have to become emotionally intelligent in order to communicate emotions with their children. Take the time to recognize, understand, label, express, and regulate. Provide a quiet area or a peaceful corner that a child can calm down. Provide a mirror where children can express different emotional faces and talk about them. Care of self and the environment. This is the age where children are learning to take care of themselves. They are learning to find order, learning to coordinate their body, learning how to concentrate, and eventually this will lead them to become confident and independent individuals. Take advantage of this and provide opportunities at this critical developmental stage. For example, demonstrate how to put on their shoes, provide them enough time to struggle through this so they feel accomplished. Help them find ways to take care of the environment by demonstrating how to sweep or clean. The important thing to remember is that we want the children to be successful, so provide them with the appropriate tools such as child-sized cups, pitchers, cleaning supplies, table, and chairs. Daily activities together. Children love to help around the house. You have a golden opportunity for children to integrate practical life skills as part of their learning experience. Think about everyday activities you already do and have your child help you with that task. One caveat to this is that you have to dissect the task into small tasks and give your child the part that she will be successful in. Cooking is a great way for your child to help you, but you want to break up the task into small steps and figure out which step your child will be successful in. Learn which skill your child is capable of doing and provide an appropriate one for your child. Other daily tasks such as washing dishes or putting dishes into the dishwasher is a great way for them to participate. Make sure the child can reach by providing steps to the kitchen sink or able to handle the weight of the plate or bowl to put into the dishwasher. Being informed. Children are sensitive to the world around them, so they are already aware of something happening. Talk to the children about the pandemic so it is not a mystery. Provide an environment that is not bombarded with media about the pandemic. Children only need to know the basic information, not all the details. Adults need to be mindful of the type of media they listen to around the house and conversations about the pandemic in front of the children so the children do not experience unnecessary fears. Take this opportunity to talk about germs, how they are spread, why we sanitize, why we social distance, and how to wash their hands. Set up your environment so the child can wash his hands and hang his mask on his own when he gets home. 
You can do this by providing steps to the bathroom sink and providing a hook at the child's height so he can hang the mask on his own. You can also provide a tape measurement to learn about social distancing. This is a great opportunity to integrate math and science. You can take a look at the summary of the six ideas here. I will be providing more detailed examples in the future, so please contact me if you want them. I would like to end with this quote. Dr. Maria Montessori once said, the education of even a small child, therefore, does not prepare him for school, but for life. Here are some references for you to read further. Thank you for watching. Mahalo. Kamsamnida. May you be safe, may you be well, and may you be at peace. Please contact me if you have any questions or want a copy of this video. Here is my email address and my Kakao Talk ID.